You're out with your wife at your anniversary. An addict named Darcy Shepard comes up to your convertible, takes a swing at you, and the next 20 seconds are going to change your and his life forever. I'm going to take you to page 125, and if you would, starting from the red, just read the underlined passages over the ensuing pages, and this will, this will put all your cards on the table. Okay. Uh, I put the sob in reverse. As I was looking back, Shepard hurled his backpack containing a heavy bike lock at us. It went sailing over my head. I put the car in first gear and tried to drive around him. Outraged, he raced toward the front end, the front of the car. I remember Susan screaming, oh my God, over and over. Chasing after us, he leapt at the sob as if in slow motion. Shepard landed hip first to break his fall. The way you see stuntmen as cops do the hood slide on crime shows. It made a crunching noise. I felt the impact of a man over 200 pounds landing on my car. He then grabbed the windshield wiper and bent it back towards him. He began pulling himself toward me, hand over hand, as if the wiper were a rope. The strength of the man was extraordinary. He seemed almost superhuman. His upper torso was now on the hood's edge, driver's side, with the car moving forward. He swung around, put his right arm inside the door, his left armpit around the side mirror. He held up his legs, a feat of some strength, no doubt assisted by the adrenaline that I later learned Darcy so often sought. The car suddenly swerved sharply to the left, almost 45 degrees. I have no recollection how that happened. He must have grabbed the wheel. In wrestling for control of the car, we crossed to the south side of the street, heading westbound into the eastbound lane. Then he said to me with a crooked grin, after we had stopped for a moment, you're not getting away that easy. Then he started climbing in the car. Susan grew louder and more frantic. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. This was the only physical contact between us. The car remained stopped while this shoving was going on. I was struggling with Darcy Shepard for control of the vehicle. Then he was gone. All of a sudden, he just wasn't there. I didn't see him fall. I heard a sound, maybe a groan. You didn't know it, but he was dead. 